this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another video where I'm going to take a quick look at a character design quarterly magazine. I've so far looked at issues 3, 5, 6 and 7 and this one should be issue 1. I got it from Amazon second hand because it's out of stock on everywhere else so it's quite, this is quite hard to get now. And I've been trying to get it for a few months and I finally managed to get it so what I did, what I'd do is I'd open it if <laughs> and I thought it'd be quite funny if I opened this up and it actually wasn't issue one I thought that'd be quite funny but hopefully it is and all I'm going to do on these videos is yes it is issue one the character design quarterly magazine in on Amazon it said it was in good condition seems to be in quite good condition so what I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to flick through the magazine and just give my thoughts really on is this is really all about the images only focusing on the images um, so let's go into it this is issue one and get the I've, the way I've got my camera set up it's making it really hard to sit down so I need to get a new tripod or something but the cover I like the colours not 100% on the character but it's quite cool oh the little dudes see the little See the little dudes in that damn thing. I did. I said on the one of the other videos I was going to sketch them, and I started sketching some of the like characters in the, in some of the other magazines. And this is what I want to do with these magazines: is really find images that I like and then s sketch them. See, I like that <laughs> little. I think it's like an otter. That's a cool little character. So, just to, that wasn't a fart, that was my sponge. I got a bit of sponge on the desk. I just knocked it. Again, they got little characters on their desks. Everyone seems to have characters on their desks. This one feels different to the other ones. If I go to one of the the later ones, it looks a lot more, I guess, professional. So in that first one, it doesn't feel as professional. They're still doing that nice thing of pulling out the colours. They've still got lots of nice space. That's a good page. Meet the artist. Amanda, I like those. I like these. I like, I like it when they make like images be coloured. So like that is a yellow. That's a really nice colour combination, orange and brown. Again, you could just get ideas for colours by looking through magazines like this. I'd like to sketch that. It's got a nice, basic shaped. And that nice feel to it. She's. See, I want to get one of those. I want to get a big tablet like that. Hmm. Funny. Good ideas. I like these. Again, nice basic shapes. Yeah, I like that. See, I like the fact that you see a character going from very basic, like a gesture, you see it being brought to life, to like the finished form. And I find that really fascinating. I love that. See, I love otters. 
She's amazing. I've seen that before. I feel like I've seen that before somewhere. That is amazing. That, that to me is like, that's what I love stuff. Because it's got expression. It's got a nice pose. Like a clothes as well. Hmm, <laughs> they look funny. Unicorn Slayer. That's really funny. Reminds me of um, a video game on the Vita called... What's that game called? That reminds me of a game on the Vita. Love that. Absolutely love that. I love it when they do coloured pencil sketches as well. She seems cool. Again, I, I feel like she's making characters based off of her. That's kind of like what I want to do. I've got like, um, my character is Lil Sophie and she is based off of me. And I feel like I get the, the impression she's doing that. This magazine's in really good condition actually, considering it's second hand. I love these. She looks so fun. Look, she looks really fun. This is an artist I'm gonna have to look into. She's called Simone Goonward. I'm gonna have to look into her. Yep, yeah, see she's done it. She's taken a photo of herself and turned it into a painting, into a character, which is what I want to do. And somebody else did that in one of the other um, magazines. And I think that's when you create the best stuff because it's, it's actually you inside of the character. So you can actually feel, you can like really feel the pose. I absolutely love that. I really love that. I like these. These are sort of things I would sketch. And those. Very loose. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. I like, oh, I like that as well. <laughs> funny, funny character. Oh, look at the funniness. See, these are going to be fun to sketch. Love that. See, I love comparing sketches to finished drawings. Cause it, it's quite. I always find it fascinating how it changes, but yet it's still sort of the same. It's quite interesting. He's done it all traditionally, and then he makes it puts it on a computer. Hmm. That's funny. I wonder what they are. These are good. I think my favourite one of those is a little mouse. He's quite funny. The mouse is the best one. I think. See, I love these. I love simpleness. These are really interesting. I don't know. I'd rather they'd done it all with animals. I'm not, I don't like the human characters. 
I like the animals. No more stuff. Nice colours. I like the use of colours in this magazine. These again would be good to sketch because they're so loose. <clears throat> again, put yourself into the character. You feel... I keep getting the impression that's what you have to do is feel the pose yourself. And then... I think it would be more... That's quite interesting. That's good. See, I think I prefer that to that. That one seems to have more life to it. But something else I've noticed is that when you start, the more you do it, the further along it gets, it it does, like I said, it keeps, it keeps what it was, but it changes. That's interesting. That's good. Yeah, now it's gone back to what it was. Hmm. I find it interesting looking at the people as well. I like that they do that. It gives it a bit of personality. And that is it. Issue one. Focus on ideas. Issue one of the character design quarterly magazine. I think that's one of my favourite ones actually. Because there's so many... I would say this is maybe my second or third favourite. I think my favourite is still issue six. Then I would say seven. Maybe one. That's a really good issue, actually. Especially love that one. I think this is a new favourite artist. So, I hope you liked that little look inside the issue one of Character Design Quarterly magazine. And I think issue eight should be out in the next week or so. And when I get that one, I'll do another video looking at that one as well. And something else I'm going to be doing soon because I've just got back into doing realistic pencil drawings. I took like a bit of a break and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick through my little sketchbooks because I've got loads of little sketchbooks where I just do realistic pencil drawings. So I'm going to do a video on that soon as well. That's basically it. I hope you liked it and see you next time for another one.